We're here at Newman Tractor today. These particular machines, the B50 and the B30Es, they're all electronics. They actually have more electronics on them than the space shuttle. When one of these go down, we have got to be on point to get it back up and running. They lose upwards maybe $5,000 an hour. The days of just turning wrenches are really over. Bell Trucks America, they're here training our technicians to get them up to the top level that they need to be. This place ain't big enough for both of us. We're here at Newman Tractor doing an on-site training. Newman is able to put more people in the school because they have the facilities and the equipment available. Classroom learning, what we do is to give them a fundamental idea. It's a reference for them to be able to go back to. They're out in the field. They may not work on a truck for three or four months. Relay it to a, a road map to know where you're going. We bug the trucks in real world situations of problems that we run into. When these guys run into them out in the field, they have an idea of what to look at and where to go and how to fix it. Well, don't break it too bad. <laughs> I kind of want to go home and sleep in my own bed tonight. It was underneath the hood of that truck this morning. Ooh. We're working on the B30E and B50E. This vehicle is extremely sophisticated. You have multiple systems, pneumatic, hydraulic. You get the articulation system to be able to carry the load capacity it has. And then on top of that, you have software. You have to be able to understand how all of it works together, or it's going to be a nightmare. What beeps? What does that beep? They're getting us out here and getting us in the cabs, getting us around the machine and seeing what all you can do with computer screen in the dash. <laughs> After this week, I feel real confident about reading the wiring schematic. We learned a lot on so all the acronyms can navigate through the wiring system on the bell trucks. I will be much quicker at everything I'm doing on these vehicles because of the understanding that they have given to me from this class. When you're working on heavy equipment, you kind of go off basic knowledge, stuff you've learned prior. Bell stepped in this week to give us some information on their Bell trucks, teach us to use their monitors and how to troubleshoot and diagnose. It's basically a work smarter, not harder type thing. You don't got a door big enough right here to fit in it. Double clutch, set right. You can't handle the raw version because I fall back on me. <laughs> you need a haircut. <laughs>